Hello, my name is George W. Jones, Director of Fine Arts for the Garland Independent School District. And welcome to another edition of Spotlight on the Arts. With the addition of art programs at all 47 GISD elementary schools, the need for administrative support has increased dramatically. We were very fortunate this year that the administration allowed us to hire an additional person in our fine arts department. It's my pleasure today to introduce to you our new visual arts coordinator, Mr. David Sanders. David, welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Let's start by telling our viewers a little bit, a bit about yourself. When did you get the art bug? And what road have you traveled down in order to end up in your current position? Well, I have to say that my biggest influence as far as arts goes is um, my mother. She was an elementary art teacher, so it wasn't only an influence in art, but also art education. Uh, but growing up in a small West Texas town, I didn't have art classes to take in middle school or high school, but I was very involved in band and one act play and speech and debate and even in cheerleading in high school. So I had a good foundation for the fine arts. When I got to college at Hardin Simmons University, I began taking uh, art classes to major in art. But all through my life, I'd always wanted to uh, work and to draw, and I did that as much as I could. But I understand that you haven't always been an artist. Didn't you have another career also? I have. Um, I had two majors. I majored in studio art, and I also majored in religion. Uh, so for, before I taught school, uh, I worked as a minister for seven years in Lubbock, Texas. And then I became a school teacher here at Hudson Middle School. Well, we're glad that you did. Thank you. We understand that you're also a producing artist. Tell us about the kind of artwork that you like to create and what, what you enjoy creating as far as uh, artwork. Absolutely, I think that thematically I really enjoy uh, exploring what I call the mythos of pop culture. I think it's so fascinating to look at the stories uh, and the characters from literature, uh, cinema, even video games that have become ingrained in who we are as Americans. And I like to do that in different ways. I, I, I dabble in poster creation uh, and in printmaking, but for the most part, I spend my time working on what I call custom toys. Okay, and I understand that you have, have artwork right now currently in a show in, in the Dallas area? I do, uh, currently uh, I have some pieces in a show at Atama, which is a gallery at Mockingbird Station in uh, Dallas, and I was lucky enough to be invited to their show called Powerful You Have Become, which is a Star Wars themed art show in celebration of the new movie that's coming out. Is there an admission fee if somebody wanted to go take a look at this art? Not at all, it's free to the public. Well good, we'll encourage our viewers to maybe go down there and, and see some of your art. Very cool. So as the new visual arts coordinator, give me your vision for the art program in the Garland ISD. Uh, well, I think that for the most part, as I was in the classroom, I always strive to not just be an art teacher, but to be a teaching artist. Uh, and being here at the Patty Granville Center with our faculty art show, we have a lot of teaching artists in the district. I think that that's probably my biggest vision in the classroom. If we can have teachers that are not just teaching art, but also making art, uh, that students can see the process, they can see their passion, they can see how they're involved in the process that they do that, I think that would be fascinating. I think that if it's not just a semantics phrase that a teaching artist or an art teacher, but as a teaching artist, I think you can really make what art is applicable to our art students. I think that you can really build a respect and rapport between art students an art teacher, and I think most importantly, being a teaching artist keeps the passion and the flame uh, for creating art alive in our teachers, so that as they shape our next generation of students, they can go, go forward with uh, great energy and passion. Well, that sounds like a wonderful vision. You're a great addition to the fine arts staff. We thank you for being here, and we look forward to working with you for many, many years. Yeah. We are very fortunate in the Garland ISD to have an outstanding art faculty. Like David Sanders, many of these outstanding teachers are also producing artists. Each year, several members of our art faculty display some of their work in an art show which is held in the lobby of the Granville Art Center. Some of this artwork is for sale, and part of the proceeds go to provide scholarships to graduating high school seniors. These scholarships are given in memory of two of our art teachers who dedicated many years of service to the students of GISD Terry Smith and Kay Schwartz. Let's take a look at some of the artwork from this year's faculty art show.
The GISD Faculty Art Show runs through January 11th in the lobby of the Granville Art Center, which is located in downtown Garland. Thank you for watching today. As always, I invite you to visit our website at www.garlandisd.net forward slash fine arts. There you will find a calendar of student performances and exhibits that are taking place across the GISD. I hope that you'll join us again next time when once again we shine our spotlight on the arts. Mm -hmm.